Uh, Dion, superb result Tuesday night. That coach trip back up to Nottingham must have felt pretty good. Yeah, um, it, it was a very good atmosphere on, on board the coach, you know, to go there against a, a tough Sutton team, you know, with the conditions rainy, the pitch ain't ideal, but, you know, we were stubborn, we defended brilliantly and, you know, we always knew if we could defend well, we'd always get one chance. Obviously, it's coming the 94th minute and Cole has managed to tuck it away and, you know, we've come away from that with a, a very good three points. We all saw the video of how much it meant to the players. I think when, the, when there are no supporters in the ground, it really hammers home how loud the players are on the pitch. Uh, do you remember that moment of, of, the, of the goal going in? I know it was only a few days ago, but you kind of get caught up in it, don't you? Yeah, uh, no, you, you do remember it because um, obviously I think some fans have said, uh, you know, the way I ran up and celebrated is a bit, uh, a bit funny. But uh, no, you do remember them because um, obviously it's a match winner, you know. Yeah, you're probably thinking, oh, night fourth minute, we'd probably get get Jory and that, and then obviously to Nick at the end, and the way the boys celebrated, like the proper togetherness in, in the squad, and obviously showing the celebration. Do you get any time at all to enjoy those kind of moments, or is it very much firmly feet on the ground, focused on the next game, or is there a bit of time where you can go, well, that was that was a great evening tonight? Um, I, I think after the game. Obviously, you know, you come in after the game, everyone's buzzed and everyone's excited and that. But um, obviously, we've come in today and the main focus is on to, to Maidenhead. You know, we can't, we can't think about the good results we've had or had um, Tuesday night. We've just got to focus on Maidenhead and try and get three points there. And if we can get three points there, it puts us in a, in a good position. Dion, you flipped from left back to right back, then back to left back. How has that been for you? Have you found it difficult to adapt each time? No, I think... Listen, I, uh, I can play anywhere and, I, and obviously I'll play anywhere the gaffer wants me to play. Um, I'm just happy to be in the team. But no, it, do you know what? It's, it's the same. Obviously, playing left back, obviously I'll come in on right foot, so I'll come in a lot. But I'm working on obviously going down the outside. But there's, there's no difference, to be fair. Um, I've actually played better at left back than I had right back. <laughs> so, um, no, it's, for me, for me, it don't bother me. Um, I'm, just, I'm just happy to be in the team, really. It's a difficult time for everyone right now, not just in football, but in, in the outside world for, for obvious reasons. I just want to ask you about how it's been for you with the restrictions that have been in place, the fact that you can't celebrate with the fans or you know soak in the atmosphere in the proper way. Uh, what, what's the mental impact been on you and in, in the squad in general? For, for me, it's been, it's been OK. Um, and I think the squad have dealt with it really well, obviously. You know, we'd love to have fans there because at times they are the twelfth man. You know, they give us, they make us run that extra ten yards, that run extra five minutes. Um, but I think we dealt with it very well. It is a strange environment to be in, of course. But um, you know, um, we just got to get on with it, really. Um, play our play our game, and then hopefully, you know, the fans tuning in and watching the game. Uh, after the game, I'm thinking I'm very happy with the performance and the three points. But um. It's a, it's a strange one to be in, but I think the boys have dealt with it very well. And finally, I uh, just want to talk about Saturday's game back at, back at home, back at the, uh, back at the lane. Um, does it give you and the team a lot of assurance and, uh, and confidence knowing that you're playing on a pitch that's like a carpet? A lot, a lot of the, the, the stadiums around the National League can be a little bit suspect. It can be a plastic pitch. It can be a bit ropey like it was at Dover. How much confidence does it give you knowing that you're able to, to play the ball on the ground and, uh, and, and really play on a pitch that is, is far better than any uh, non-league standard? Yeah, I think... By far, we've got the best, the best pitch in, in the league, and it you know we're, we're a passing team. We want to play exciting football, and it certainly helps. Um, obviously, like, like you said, we went away to Dover, and that was obviously a different story. The pitch weren't great at all, and we couldn't really get our, our game going. But obviously, when we're at home, you just think we're at home. Let's take it to them. We've got a lot of good attacking for it, and it just helps us play the way we want to play. Um, so a lot of credit has to go go to the the ground staff. Wish you all the best on Saturday, Dion. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.